Inu has successfully tested the Indo-Israeli developed medium-range surface-to-air system today, which provides 360-degree air defense coverage against fighter jets, helicopters, drones and cruise missiles flying within a range of 100 kilometers. Officials have said that various air targets were successfully intercepted during today's test, and the tested missile was indigenously manufactured at Bharat Dynamics Limited. The latest ski jump test of F-A-18 Super Hornet Block 3 is only the beginning of validation process to operate effectively from Indian Navy's aircraft carriers, and it might not be enough for Boeing to clinch a deal with the Indian Navy, as the Navy has already sent its proposal to the Indian Air Force to combine its carrier-based fighter jet procurement with the 114 MMRCA program, and will also test the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter in 2026. The Rafale M carrier borne fighters have been operating from French aircraft carriers since 2000, and have already launched and landed on US carriers, and the French Navy maintains high level of interoperability with the US Navy. Ordering the 114 Rafale for the Air Force and reduced 36 units for the Navy will lower the cost per aircraft for both the services, and will not require to pay for additional India-specific enhancements, while the larger carrier bond fighter requirement can be made with the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter. Officials have said that a new radome and infrared homing seeker for the Astra IR variant have been developed, and assembly of the first prototype will start soon. The 40 km range Astra IR variant will carry out captive flight trials on board Su-30 fighter jets in 2021, and modifications on four Su-30 fighter jets have already started, and they will be used as a testbed for upcoming trials of all Astra variants including Mark II variant. During the test, the new radome will be tested to see any interference with the infrared homing seeker, after which the testing of the seeker will be conducted. Bharat Forge has created a strong network with over 450 micro small and medium enterprises, and is working to design and develop indigenous naval defense systems including autonomous underwater vehicles and expandable underwater targets. The Navy has a requirement of expendable underwater target, as they are capable of simulating a submarine for training missions. The design of the first prototype of the company's electromagnetic rail gun has also been completed, while testing has started on developing a family of small jet engines, an unmanned surface vehicle, artificial-based solution for coastal surveillance, combat management system, and control systems for submarine steering gear. The issuance of request for proposal for P-75I program, evaluation of responses received from shipyards and their foreign partners, as well as price negotiations and contract signing will take a lot of time, and the contract could possibly be concluded by the end of 2023, and the first submarine will be ready by 2030, and till then the lithium-ion batteries will completely replace the present lead-acid type batteries and a number of new technologies will emerge, due to which the request for proposal for P-75I will require tremendous attention to detail, otherwise it would result in cost and time implications. The private sector firm Lawson & Tubro is at a disadvantage from the very beginning, as it requires to raise money at higher interest rates to make the necessary investment for submarine construction, while the public sector firm Mazagin Docks Limited has the advantage of absorbing all of its capital investment, and the luxury of falling back on the central government for any bailout situations, as every shipbuilding program faces financial or contractual problems. After stringent audits of its production facilities quality systems and products, the Directorate General Quality Assurance under the Ministry of Defense has awarded the Green Channel status to Larsen and Tubro Defense, for major naval weapon delivery systems. The Green Channel certificate provides deemed registration status to the company, and will not need pre-dispatch inspection and acceptance.